WJBW, Orlando, Florida. The first quasi radio web show. Wow. Yeah. Welcome, welcome back. I am JB Webb. You are participating in WJBW, the social experiment where uh, we go and interview people and find out more about them. They're talented, they're artists, they're musicians. This week, uh, we have an interview with Francis Scott Horner. Uh, he is an interesting artist, um, and uh, we're excited to have him on the program. So let's get uh, a quick introduction. Francis Scott Horner, born in 1987, is an American-based artist working from Richmond, Virginia. He has studied in the United States as well as the United Kingdom, completing his BFA at Virginia Commonwealth University and his MFA from Glasgow School of Art. Having shown both nationally and internationally, he works primarily uh, are known for their temporal quality. The artist statement is his work reflects an ethereal mix of traditional images realized through the use of contemporary materials and techniques, often redefining how we relate to the space around us. And we're proud to welcome to the show Mr. Francis Scott Horner. Welcome. Thank you very much, JB. Well, thank you, and we're very happy to have you on the show. The big thing that's interesting to me is really you put your art together in a very unique way using paper, cardboard, almost what's available. And um, as you said, you try to create this area or recognition of um, an individual being within the art, or you're really opening it up to the viewer. So how do you define your art if you do? And you know, maybe just give us a brief overview. Um, I've never really been able to define my work. Um, the works that you saw uh, at the local show, Nude Night, um, mm -hmm. those were uh, actually created by the layering of paper. Um, and all the, I, uh, the work that I create is just ethereal in its own right, and yeah. I, I just indefinable in my own mind. It's just I create what I've created, and I let it stand on its own. So. So, okay, that's great. So it's, yeah, and I really see that in your art, the architecture uh, in your art. So it's paper um, and, and different uh, resources that you use consistently. But with your art, I'm curious about the, um, you know, boundaries, if you feel you, you have them or, you know, what's your favorite kind of art to do? Or I know that might sound <laughs> like a loaded question, but... It, 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 Whenever talking about art, it is always a little bit loaded, but um, work <laughs> is actually very architectonic, and I've always mm -hmm. kind of drawn from the idea of the interplay of the individual in the space, uh, be it how a person perceives space or how a person moves through it. Um, my mm -hmm. most interesting work that I like making is the stuff that actually creates a physical space for a person to view the work. Um, you might be able to see that in some of my works off of my website, such as Build It Yourself Bishopric or Portal or uh, Matryoshka. Um, in these cases, these pieces are things that change how somebody sees it. Um, things that I like to do are things that are just visually stimulating, um, enigmatic, things that draw people in. And boundaries, I, I don't, I can't really say that I have boundaries right now. I'm, I'm fairly young. I'm fairly new to my own work. And so I'm just yeah. willing to just keep growing with it. So, Yes, very good, as you should, sir. But your art in particular really, you know, when I looked at it, especially some of the images, some of your earlier work and things of that nature, it really, you know, evokes the, you, you can look at it and, and, and aspire uh, and appreciate it from just a, a pure, you know, that's well put together, that's well crafted. Um, so, you know, the overall big picture of, you know, taking things apart and putting them together um, is really kind of what your art um, feels like to me, like a builder uh, type of art. It is. Um, I've, I've always, however, been very much into craft. Uh, for me, art can't represent what it's trying to do if you don't make it well. And I've always gone out of my way to really be 
a craftsman uh, first mm-hmm. and foremost. Um, in my undergraduate degree, I actually focused on trying to have a minor in woodworking, ironically. Um, <laughs> and so I've always sort of brought that to the table. Um, also, loving Japanese art uh, and, and the idea of the perfection of the craft in that type of art, I've, I've always been drawn to that. So for me, craft is always the key to a piece. Well, and that's good to know because I think it really, at least to the keen eye, kind of you know bleeds out of your art. Um, so, Scott, what are some of the uh, big things you're working on? Because, I mean, yeah, I imagine you're like the kind of guy, it's like you turn around and, oh, three years later, he's completed this huge <laughs> piece of art. I mean, a lot of your artwork is, is pretty grand and, and large and big uh, on a large scale. So what um, what are some things you're getting into now? Um, I'm actually, uh, right now, the big thing I'm working on um, is been getting ready for a show here in Richmond, uh, Virginia. Oh, cool. Um, it's at a friend's um, venue, and they kind of gave me free reign, and I decided to go big again um, because I can't help but do anything else. Um, and I've d- done some portrait work uh, using the same technique that I used for my um, Enigma nude pieces from Nude Night. Um, and these uh, portraits are going to be installed on the upcoming First Friday here in Richmond, and the smallest one is approximately 40 by 90 inches, going up to somewhere close to 9 by 10 to 11 feet. That sounds incredible. Well, hopefully you've got a very well-vaulted space for that. Oh, it's it's perfect for what I'm doing in this case, so... Well, good. So hopefully you can get it in and out of there, no problems, or take it apart or what, whatever you have to do. But uh, we want to thank you again, Scott, uh, for chatting with us. Uh, you've been uh, listening to WJBW, our summer series. We've been speaking with Scott Horner, and uh, we've got uh, to encourage you to go check out his artwork at fshorner, H-O-R-N-E-R.com. And uh, you'll be impressed with those images and try to connect with them. And Scott, uh, thanks again for being on the show, and I hope you have a great one. Thank you very much, and I would, and I look forward to chatting with you again, JB. This has been a pleasure. Well, thank you, good sir. The pleasure is all ours. Go check out Scott uh, Francis Scott Horner. You're watching WJBW. Good evening. Yo, 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 yo. WJBW. I think electronics is so predominant that people would really prefer that.